Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here at SD Fish and Sip, Sunday, June 11th, 2023. And I'm back here at the Sport Fishing Docks, San Diego, by downtown. Beautiful downtown San Diego in the background. And we're going to be checking out the bluefin tuna fishing. is starting to pick up. More reports on the boats. Earlier this week, I was out in La Jolla on the solo skiff. I'll flash the card for that video is my latest video and no yellowtail, no calico. First a sand bass on the yo-yo iron, fried egg, candy bar, and then a uh, nice red vermilion rockfish that I did in the air fryer. Then I met up with Nom because Jarrett was in town and they went on Liberty on his last trip here. He was from Florida coming in. And they went on Liberty and they got some bluefin that they hooked me up with there. So that was nice of them. Made some sushi last night at Camp Land on the Bay. Sushi hand roll party there. That was killer. Man, there's some big tails coming in. I'm going to go check it out. And then I'll get to the maps and the locations. But we're now down here checking out the bluefin tuna. And I'm seeing they're offloading some right here on Islander. And then I saw them pushing up a big cart up front. So it looks like we're getting back into the swing of things. The counts have been going up the last couple days. It has been slow the month here in San Diego. Very scratchy, spotty bluefin tuna fishing. But now it looks like they're offloading a lot from Islander right here. We're going to go check out Pacific Queens offloading. Next boat down tomahawks in 60 to 80 pounders maybe there i see a couple big ones up here let's check it out point loma sport fishing in the background dolphins going out as usual some big boys there he is yeah what's up bro you got him I, I remember seeing you here on the docks before. How did that trip end up going that one time? Oh, it was great. Yeah, you scored on that, and then you guys got on on the, this trip too, huh? Take a look. You were on the queen? Yeah. Good for you. The slayer here. Jeez. Pacific Queens back on them. Were you on this trip? Got him though. What happened on this one? Well, we filled the boat twice. Yeah. Two day trip and you got two and a half and uh, each night it went just crazy or yeah. yeah. We fished south the first night and then San Clemente the second night. And the bigger, the bigger grade fish came up at San Clemente. Correct. Look at 18 right there. That one's closer to 200? I would say so. Yeah. yeah, a lot of these other are like 150, yeah. 130 to 150. Yeah. All on the night, uh, knife the jig. Night. And then during the day at San Clemente, we got them on the kite. Oh, nice. Yeah, the they Were you seeing them up on, uh, Actually, were we, they coming up? Yeah, they were coming up. Yeah, we trolled the yummy flyer first, and then they settled down. We were able to do the uh, fresh flyers. Oh, live! You guys cut out, uh, just, caught live know, flyers. Frozen, oh, frozen, yeah. dead, yeah. fresh flyers. Like, how many did you get on the kite? Six or seven. Oh yeah. man, that was yeah. during the daytime in the evening, yeah. so like daytime. four o'clock no, or early, was, middle of the day. Yeah, middle of the day to evening. Yeah. Wow, that was San. What part of San Clemente Island were you on? We were we were in between San Clemente and, and Catalina, Catalina, right in that alley there. And they were foaming in the daytime? No, no foaming. 
It was all metered uh, yeah, fish. Metered, and then trolling the yummy flyer, and then they'd strike that, and then they'd send out the frozen flyers. Oh, and they so were trolling the yummy. Yeah, so while they're fighting the yummy, they put out the frozen flyers. How many, uh, they had two balloons and two kites going? Uh, no, just one kite with a balloon on it. And then the yummy, you know, once they, once the yummy flyer got released and the guy's fighting it, then they put the frozen one on the kite uh, that's already out. Oh, I gotcha, yeah. 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 Wow. It's <laughs> so crazy what a difference a week I, I makes. Know, man. You know, I coming mean, from a yeah. one, my buddy went on a trip, they had one bluefin and four yellowtail for a two day trip. Yeah, see, that's just. And you guys got limits? This is all, yeah. And really good grade fish, too. Yeah. That's a great fish. I gotta get a picture of you and me, man. That's yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Mikey. You're my pleasure. What was your first name again? Dave. David. David. Yeah. David. And then uh, I was talking to Gary Lai. He was on this trip, too, huh? Gary, yeah. right with the J. Yeah. Boy Gary, J. Gary, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's always killing yeah. it, yeah. Man. Yeah. So killer, David. Yeah. Did you charter this trip too? It's our son, my son and I. Yeah, yeah that yeah. you guys are all. <laughs> we get lucky. What? I what know. Can I say? Yep. Yeah. Ex exactly. Yeah. No, that that's. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it's every time, but now since you see me again, <laughs> right? you know, well, how funny is that? Really? I know. You know? How, how funny is that? No. <laughs> Thanks for the interviews and everything, Mike. Yeah, I will. Well, thank you for the in yeah. the info. You know yeah. that it's just the reality. But this the is night, how things are going. The night bite is just unbelievable. Sounds what unbelievable. what size what size jigs was it? Uh, same same thing. They were deep. The four hundred did the best this time. They were deeper. So a little, you know, we had a little bit more wind. So. When the jig went down quicker. Was anyone it. using that that sinker rig? Uh, yeah, with the, that yeah, one too. that was the, getting what they called the Eddie bomb. The, yeah, the bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Eddie bomb. Yeah. Wow. We'll have to get you on one of our trips now. Yeah, I'm, I don't fish on much on the sport boats anymore. I've been doing a lot of. That's why you're talking about the kite. You know that that's what I really want to uh, do is go out this week on the private boat and get the kite. All right, Here David. It's working. The kite is working. I know. And the yummy flyer. So, you know, if you guys troll around with the yummy flyer and they hit it, yeah. they're out there, though. The big boys. I got I got to talk to my buddy. Right on, David. Take care. Great to see you. Okay, yeah. Mikey, Good job. There you got it. Pacific Queen just limits. That was, so we have new low Ann coming in here. Looks like Sea Adventure 80 is out right now. Let's go see what's going on with H&M Landing. Got the dolphin going out on full day. Premier right here going out on full day. Old Glory's in, just coming back right now. See the counts at H&M landing. Vendetta two day. Five bluefin. Oh, producer overnight. 26 yellowtail, one bluefin. Mollahini three quarter day. Rockfish, three quarter day, Daiwa Pacific Rockfish. So there you got it. That's uh, so far, it's looking a little slow at H&M landing here. But David gave me the update on Pacific Queen down in Mexico and SCI. And then Braden, yesterday I ran into Braden when I was down there in Mission Bay. Braden and, and Joseph, and they said that they're by 371, 302, but I hear they're by the 230. And they were trolling Mad Max by the 230, but they never, so they never got them. But uh, that's awesome running into Braden and Joseph. I really appreciate all the support from everybody. And they sounds like from David on Pacific Queen that they were out here. He runs the charter there, they killed it. And they were out in this area, I think they said off Ensenada, they might have been by SSK down here. Night bite, knife jigs, daytime. That was down here and then daytime up at San Clemente Island. On the kite, yummy flyer.
Here's new low end, new low end right here. Little smaller grade fish. Pacific Queen just went crazy. A little slower here for New Loan. Point Loma Sport Fishing, Fisherman's Landing. Where's, where is that? Pacific Queen. They were just turning the processor 145, he said. I think that there was one closer to, closer to 200 on this trip. They killed it. Let's see. 86 pound. 145, moving some with the forklift. A couple big dogs are weighing in right here. Let's see, last one's 150 probably. Two, one bluffing, 127. That one's probably also up there. 137. Two, one blue fish. 84. Trying to track down the fish, bro. That they're on the yummy farm. We're going to San Clemente Island tomorrow. Like everybody else, I'm trying to get bluefin. That's what I want to do. Yeah. 150. I don't know. That's why I gotta try to figure it out. It takes resources. So John from Small Boat Club was on that trip it said 60 80 pounders didn't go crazy like pacific queen but they still got they got a lot of fish you just get back from a trip no getting ready to go out on the islander oh nice trying to get yeah i was just right talking now. to my buddy john he was on the trip and they, yeah you can see the fish that they got some the some 60 to 80 pounders but did you see pacific nice. queen no i they went up to San Clemente Island. First, they got them at night down in Ensenada. The first night, they got limits. And then they went to uh, San Clemente Island, and they were skipping the yummy flyer and got them on the kite. <laughs> they had some up there near 200. I saw they were just waiting in some 150s, and then they had some 200-pounders. So, yeah, it seems like you got a good trip, Ty. You luck, because it's crazy what a day a week makes. You know, last right. year I was down here, and they had my buddy went on Pacific Queen two-day, one blue fin and four yellowtail for a two-day trip on the Queen. And then the, and then they, this it week, you know, just, it's it like this. Broke open yeah, I, yeah, I know. So I'm so trying to figure out how I'm gonna get out there. There were seven spots left yesterday. Yeah. They overbooked it. They put 29 guys on. And then you just booked it yesterday? No, oh, no, I've been. You booked it for a while ago. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I'm on the. I'm going on the new land in July. Oh, nice. That's always a good boat to go on. What? Absolutely. Yeah. Right on. What's your name? John. John. Ravello. Nice to meet you, John. It's a right. pleasure meeting you. Thanks for watching. Oh, Get them. Good luck on your trip. Thank you. All right. There it is. Sunday report. That's going to do it. That's it. That's all for today's fish report. Sunday, June 11th, 2023. And Pacific Queen out of Fisherman's Landing. Got them. They got limits with some big fish. Nice size fish, too. I was talking to David the charter master on the trip and he said it was a nighttime bite on the jigs 400 gram worked well and then that they were got some on the kite too they had some up towards 200 pounds a lot over 150 and i talked to john who went on the island there they got around the night bite on the jigs some 60 to 80 pounders same thing with new low Ann, had some 40 to 60 pounders that they got on their trip too so fishing i talked to Braden and joseph like i was saying that they were down trolling mad max down here they didn't have any hookups but there's some fish in the area seems like i'm gonna try to get up to san clemente island though that would be the dream to get the drone going with the kite fishing bluefin so we'll see we'll look at the weather window see what the weather's looking like try to get out there until then tight lines everybody seems like the fishing's picking up it's coming i'm gonna be ready to go one love